Hey y'all. Uh, a lot of buzz about the uh, David Byrne version of uh, Once in a Lifetime that was on uh, Saturday Night Live last weekend. Or the week before, I don't know, recently. I think it's from that, uh, the arrangement from that live show that he's touring around with. Uh, I want to do a guitar part for it, for, because uh, it's a little bit different, well, uh, different from the, the studio recording. The guitar part in the studio one was kind of, you can look up online, there's, you know, blog posts and stuff about how they built that from different jams that they edited parts together for. But this is a, a, a true live one, so the guitar part's a little bit different. Sounds really cool, though. I like the way they did it. But it sounds to me like it's just a, uh, during... Um, in D. Uh, on the D, G, and B, you're buying a cross, and then you suspend on the B string. There's a lot of percussion in it. Notice the strum hand just keeps going. So you're muting all the rest of those. The high E gets muted underneath there, that little fleshy part. And the A and D are muted over the top with your thumb. I, I suppose you could do it just like this and just and not have to do a lot of muting because you're not hitting those other ones. But I like a full, I like to get into it. So, so on the, so the first time through it just does that. And then stops and then he does his vocal. And the second time through it does it again. And then when he goes same as it ever was, it goes to this part. to an octave up there, same shape. You can hit, you can leave the D open and hit it since you're playing a D chord. Or you can mute it with, sort of mute it with the top of that finger. Or just don't hit it. The only little nuance in that part is at the end of, I don't know if it goes through four or six of them, but listen to it, but it, at the end, on that high E string, you gotta go down two frets. Like that. Um, then it goes back into another break. Then the only thing that's different is the second time it does the whole thing again, one of these. Then it goes through again and does one of these again. And then to this. Then it goes into the ending part, which is D. D with you know with a lot of gain. And you could do do some soloing in D major pentatonic. But that for this live arrangement of it, that's really the the guitar part all the way through. Good luck.